inside his name, and then Luke heads you round down the front row. Second row of the crib, uh, headed by that amazing little character, Bradley Ray. He will be headed to Motorland, Oregon next weekend, as will the little fella next to him, Taron McKenzie. And then Callum Cooper and Callum Bay round out the second row. Third row, headed by Ryan Watson, ahead of Lee Jackson, Bradley Hughes, and Philip Wakefield, one of the few grown-ups on the grid. Uh, Jordan Weaving is next up with the uh, delectable 37-year-old Catherine Green, who didn't start racing until she was 30, uh, next to him. Joe Irving and Elliot Lodge round out row four on the grid. And it's uh, a pretty full grid as well, right back to Taryn Taylor, Taz Taylor at the back on row eight. Wayne Ryan on pole position, knows what he has to do, he has to win this race. Kyle Wright gets a surprisingly poor start, sucked back again bit into the pack. He's elbow to elbow with Rob Guyver, but Guyver has to pull away because another rider rockets yeah. through from behind him on the grid. And that really affected Guyver, who's pushed back into the pack. Yeah, he shoved him offline, just got into Paddock Hill there, just not what you want off the off these oh, on the outside. He's making moves now. What a start by Ryan Watson on the Apple Yard oh. for We've got a big high side out of Druids. Uh, wow, that's nasty for him, but I tell you what, that's very lucky. Not for him, but just because it didn't involve anybody else. Normally, a big eye side like that early on, I think it was somebody else with him. Number 95. Uh, was it Taz? No, no it wasn't. Definitely Taz. not. No. It was Elliot Lodge who went down. That mighty high side. He looks to have survived in one piece. As uh, number would you believe, Kyle Wright 